2014-2015 Junior Miss Great Bet second attendant. Okay, so what does that entail? Well, um, throughout the year I would be helping out my community and going to a DD prom, doing a food pantry drive, and a bunch of other fun stuff. And you like doing that, I think. Yeah, I fun do. Stuff, so. Last year I was the 2013-2014 Young Miss Great Bet Queen. And I had so much fun last year, I tried to get out again this year. And so, uh, do you like the great festival, Big Jamboree? Yeah, I, I love it. What do, you, what do you like most about it? The ice cream. <laughs> ice cream! Yeah, don't, we don't want to hug you the ice cream. Is this the only time you get grape ice cream? Pretty much. Is it good? Yes, yeah, it's delicious. In Assumption Church, they're making 1200 the best pies, the best great pies. Is this the only time you can buy great pies? Yes, here. Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, the problem with making great pies generally is that there's so much of a hand process. So you need a little retired ladies to squeeze each grape. You have to separate the skins from the pulp and handle and cook the pulp and the skin separately and recombine them. That's why actually great pies are simply aren't made. And then they adjust the sugar each year depending upon the harvest. This year was a bad year for grapes like everything else, so the grapes aren't, aren't typically as sweet as they might be some years, so they adjust the sugar count up so the pies are consistent in flavor from, from vineyard to vineyard. Most of the grapes, all our grapes, are donated by parishioners because the Assumption has a number of parishioners who own local vineyards from the old days. So the, uh, they set aside some of their, their, their crop and then they pick them and then the uh, volunteers come squeeze them and do everything else. So it's, a, it's a big process that takes it's a hundred people about a week. Yeah, yeah. They, they, they make pies all week. They start out like Wednesday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, they make the pies. They start squeezing them on a Monday. Then, uh, yeah, and then uh, you get all kinds of grapes, just kinds of grapes. No Niagara. Right? No, they're, 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 they couldn't use Niagara, but I think well, they found Concord gives a more consistent flavor because you get a little tartness. Mm -hmm. For people who have never had them, I guess it's best described as like a blueberry pie with a little tartness to it. So, so, uh, but they come all over. I mean, people come from Pennsylvania everywhere to come get them. So. Yeah, they've been doing it for so long that they sort of have a reputation for it. Uh -huh. So people actually come in each year. And we typically sell out by midday Sunday. Purple Cow is vanilla ice cream and grape juice. It's a great float. And once you've tried them, usually people come back year after year to get them. Is this the only time you can get them? Right here, yeah. These are the best. Are they? Because they're made by our church, yes. It's blessed ice cream. Made with love. Made with love. <laughs> I don't know, I haven't tried it yet. Try it right now. How can I get this? Oh, yes, I'm holding diet Pepsi. <laughs> mm, the purple cow is the best. Does that better than like a root beer flow? It is. It is. I would come to the Great Jamboree <laughs> just for a purple cow because you don't ever hear of them. But the parade's nice too. The parade's nice too. <laughs> so tell me what you like about the Great Jamboree. Great! <laughs> so they got all kinds of ice cream pies, different things. Wine. Wine. Well, we came here for the grapes and the wine. Have you had any wine yet? No, no we, we just got here. We, we used to come to the Great Jamboree when we were younger. And um, we're coming back. It's been years. It's been years. So, green and purple. Green and purple. Green and purple. Green and purple. Yes. It's nice to be here at the Grape Jamboree, and uh, we've been here year, years before, and uh, it's nice to be here. And what's your favorite thing about the Ah, oh, the parade. Parade and taking pictures. I'm a I'm a big camera buff, so.